We continue to follow, follow developing news now. We are hearing from the family of the submariner who died when he fell off the USS Boise. This happened Saturday at Naval Station Norfolk. Ten of your sides, Anita Blanton is in the newsroom with more. Anita? Well, Nicole Rolando Acosta was just 21 years old. He was from Plainview, that's north of Lubbock, Texas. Acosta was a sonar technician on board the Norfolk based submarine. The Navy says that he was on duty at the time. These are some pictures of him. The sub was tied to the pier, and tonight we we heard from Acosta's grandparents. Listen in. There's no words for it. And I know people tell me that God will be with me all the time, but still I don't know when I was told Saturday, Saturday afternoon about my grandson that had passed away. I mean, I just, I just still can't believe it. You know, he was just that kind of person. He'd help you out in any, any, way, you know, any way he could. That's what he was. That's what we want to remember him. Now, the commanding officer of the USS Boise issued this statement right here on your screen. It says, Seaman Acosta was a hardworking and highly valued shipmate. His presence will be missed by USS Boise and throughout the submarine force. Our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family. Out, Navy divers found Acosta's body two hours after they started searching for him. His death still under investigation, so a lot of questions tonight. The Navy says USS Boise was Acosta's first major military assignment after enlisting in January of 2012 and attending the submarine school in Groton, Connecticut. In the newsroom, Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.